Instead of okay. 
Stan Popkov Finds Tales of Tragedy, Love, Strange Histories, Unintended Consequences, and Accidental Success. This is really interesting. Yesterday I listened to the one about Kentucky Fried Christmas, which talked about how having a basically a massive bucket from Kentucky Fried Chicken is a tradition, somewhat of a tradition in Japan. I never knew that's the case.
be one of my favorite ones. Um, the guys have uh, an interesting sense of humor. Um, it's very cool to listen to. And obviously learn about new cases that they cover. Let's see what they say. Each week, Nick and the captain fire up the true crime garage, flying ship fueled with beer. Great discussion and listener participation. The garage covers a new case each week, from headline news to local and real life horror stories. Discussions about serial killers like Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, and BTK. Cold cases like John Benet Ramsey, OJ Simpson, and the Zodiac. Disappearances, missing persons, and all unsolved mysteries are all on tap along with crap beers from all over the world. If you like to kick back and have a little fun with your true crime, then this show is for you and your friends. Remember, don't take yourself too seriously because if you do, nobody else will. So, True Crime Garage, it's a really interesting podcast, as I mentioned. Give it a listen if you're into true crime and two guys in a garage discussing true crime. Uh, very cool topic. Some of them are cases I never heard of and as you can see I still have a lot of episodes to catch up to. Which is cool. Uh, next one is called Crime After Crime and it's created by two of my favorite true crime podcasters Daniel Allen and John Martin. And uh, let's see what they say. A monthly podcast or two true crime youtubers daniel allen and john morden challenge each other to tell the best story about a true crime related topic listeners voting online will determine the winner the winner new episodes premiere on the first of each month this is a fairly new podcast they only have a couple of episodes um i really enjoy these two guys together as well as separately podcast is them having a bit of fun with the topics it's not too serious so it's a bit of a you know lighter topic than the usual ones so if you're into that kind of stuff give this one a listen to next one is without warning hosted by Shiloh, Shayla Waisaki, and it's, uh, without warning, the Lauren A.G. case. This is a very, very good podcast, very interesting, because it's actually Sh- Shayla Waisaki as a private investigator, which obviously, she, she's got street cred and she knows what she's talking about, so this is a very interesting one. Let's see what the blurb says. Wakefest in Smithville, Tennessee, with some friends. On the last day, without warning, Lauren's life was gone in an instant. Join professional investigator Shayla Isaki as she takes back the curtain to go behind the scenes of an, invest- of an investigation. You decide who is telling the truth, who isn't, what happened to the evidence, and what happened with the people with a police investigation. See what Lauren's mom, Sherry Smith, has to do in order to speak for her daughter. Was it a murder or a tragic accident? You decide. True crime in real time. Again, this is this is something different. Um, as I mentioned, it's made by the actual investigator, the private investigator who's taken on this case after basically police uh, dropped the case quite quickly and ruled it as an accident. Clearly, her family has a different opinion about it. That's why Shayla was hired and this is basically an investigation. It's really cool. Um, it's You can listen to actual tapes of interviews that she's done. I mean, and if you if you subscribe, uh, if you join our Patreon, you can see even more case details, uh, case files, and you can you can discover them. Take your time and make up your own mind of what you think happened. This is very very interesting. 
this is no fairy tale, but a sordid story of a strangely close twin brothers, teenage student lovers, and probable murder. The Australians, Headley Thomas, digs deep into a cold case which has been unsolved for 36 years, uncovering startling new evidence. Again, this is a podcast about one case. Episodes. I have listened to a couple of them. I think I think I have bought a book uh, about the same case as well that I was uh, listening to on Audible as well. Um, I'm definitely going to get back to it. Very uh, popular, serious topic. I'd like to